Matt Prater drilling a 47 yard game winning field goal is exactly the way I like to see an intense preseason game finish. Now first things first, I'm just glad to know we finally have a clutch kicker. Not only did Prater drill the game tying 48 yarder, but he also proceeded to drill the game winning 47 yarder as well. I'm so happy right now. And although it's preseason, a couple of things stood out to me tonight. There were a lot of positive in tonight's games, but there were also some negatives and I'm gonna go over some of the things I saw. So first things first, Rondell Moore is a beast. He finished the night with three catches for 23 yards and he also had a couple carries which he took for 16. If you watched my video earlier, you would know that I said Moore's gonna be a star for us and all signs point to that direction. And although it was just a small sample size, I love what I saw tonight. From catching screens to jet sweeps, Moore brings an interesting dynamic to this team and if we use him right, he's gonna ball out for us. And two more players who I thought stood out tonight were Zayvon Collins and Marco Wilson. Zayvon Collins isn't scared to put his head down and hit somebody, and we saw that tonight. And one play that stood out to me in particular was when Zayvon shot the gap and took down Tony Pollard for what I believe was a three yard loss. Again, it's just a small sample size, but I like what I saw. And Marco Wilson looked great tonight as well. He honestly has a chance to be an all time steal for us. Tonight, he was targeted six times, forced three incompletions, and almost had himself an interception. I honestly don't know how good he's gonna be, but let me tell you, his potential is sky high. And one more thing before I get into some of the negatives is that Eno Benjamin deserves a spot on this roster. To all the fans that have been hyping him up, I see what you were saying. Benjamin finished tonight with five carries for 50 yards and also had our one and only touchdown tonight. If he continues to ball like this, he's easily gonna make the roster and in my opinion, should be promoted to running back three. There were a ton of things that I saw tonight that really impressed me, but with positives comes negatives. And right now, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I saw that concerns me. So first things first, we desperately need a pass catching tight end. Max Williams isn't known for being a pass catcher, he's more of a blocking tight end, and we saw that tonight. On his one and only catch he had tonight, he fumbled the ball. I'm going to assume Arizona already knows this and they'll go out and try to find one. I'm honestly really mad we let Dan Arnold go because he was a beast for us and he was one of Kyler's favorite targets last season. We should have never let him go, but since we did, we have to find someone to replace him and Max Williams isn't that guy. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. This is honestly one of the biggest holes on the team, if not the biggest, and we need to address it. Maybe look into trading for Zach Ertz. I don't know. Just a thought I'm gonna throw out there. And something else that I think is pretty clear is that Colt McCoy is definitely our quarterback too. McCoy looks solid tonight, finishing six for seven for 69 yards. The only problem is he's a statue in the pocket and took three sacks tonight, but outside of that, he's definitely better than Chris Streveler. Streveler definitely brings a different dynamic being able to run the ball, but when it comes to passing, Colt McCoy is levels ahead. And one final thing I wanna to touch on is our D-line depth is cruised. It felt like we couldn't get pressure all night long, and we actually finished the night with a total of zero sacks. That's actually a little concerning to me, I'm not gonna lie. And I know things will be different when JJ Watt and Chandler Jones are playing, but the fact that no one was able to get a single sack tonight and put pressure on the quarterback was a little concerning in my opinion. This was just one game though, and it's obviously a small sample size, but those were some of my takeaways. But for the majority, I like what I saw, and I can't wait for week two against the Kansas City Chiefs. And if I left out something or someone that you thought stood out tonight, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I'm sure I missed a couple of things, so if I did, make sure to let me know. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and NBA content, so if you're a fan of either of those or both of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.